Aloha, mahalo. Hola, mi amigos. So, uh, we'll see where we go with this, as per usual. Uh, the muses are very scattered right now, <laughs> as in, uh, I'm, I'm being pulled in many, many different directions, but I, I made it pretty evident and clear in the direction I was, I was heading, so. <laughs> so, uh, all time collapses into this now moment, so we... We shall see. Right here, what we are watching is a chiropractor. Not just a chiropractor. This is a, a chiropractor that is a... Uh, what are the words? Uh, top... Basically transforming uh, that word, uh, chiropractic uh, medicine, into a uh, more holistic viewpoint. Uh, coming back into the realization of the body of what the human can do for themselves. And uh, educating, reminding people about the anatomy, about the harmony that exists within the body. And these guys are still learning as they go. And this is the beauty of it. And like, the more they learn, the more they share. And uh, if people are catching on, then the more they're picking up on the wavelength and the frequency here. This 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 badass guy is uh, he works on UFC fighters because he's he's a fucking uh, he he's a beast in and of himself. Oh shit, I forgot his name. <laughs> uh Bo Bo Dr. Bo Hightower, maybe? <laughs> maybe that's it. Uh I just kind of started getting more into him. Um the the chiropractor that I'll probably do a video on him uh sometime in the near future. Uh that really got me into uh not not just chiropractic medicine but um and a deeper understanding of what I was doing to myself already because I I've been adjusting myself from uh, a very very early age and uh, finding new ways uh, to do so new avenues and pathways within myself to engage to find a clearing to find a release to, to re-enliven the flow so that guy is uh, Brett Binder, and his YouTube channel is very simple, Chiropractic Medicine, and uh, that I highly, highly recommend you guys check that shit out, because even watching his videos, you, <laughs> it's like an ASMR effect where like you, in watching someone get adjusted and. Uh, Watching, witnessing the release that's happening. It's almost like your your own body is kind of like uh, picking up on that on that as well. And it's very, it can be a very pleasurable experience. So this guy adjusts, uh, I guess, celebrities and uh, UFC fighters and, and whatnot. I don't know. I very recently, uh, as in. Just the other day, I found this this video, and then I happened upon this part here that I'm going to share, and this absolutely reminded me of uh, just just a lot of different things. Um, I saw that uh, Zigzag uh, put up some stuff about uh, psychedelics and psychoactive uh, 
mind states and whatnot, and I just watched his videos, so I, I wanted to kind of include this with those videos. Uh, he got into like a lot of the deeper aspects of as within, so without, and if you really want to like truly learn from these things, you have to put in the inner work first. You have to know where you're at on the inside, and at the very least, get to a place where you're a little bit stable. And you're able to just flow with, with, with whatever happens. Because a, a lot of times with these powerful psychoactive uh, plant spirit medicines, you're just taken along for the ride. And, and if you haven't done any kind of inner work at all, or looked inside of yourself, then you're not going to really understand and understand what you're being shown. Because you're being shown your own, own inner... <laughs> your inner shit, your inner psyche, your inner makeup on such a deep level that you, you become it, you feel it. And if you're not used to engaging these things or even contemplating these types of uh, engagements, it, it's going to be overwhelming. And oftentimes it catapults people into bad trips. And a bad trip is only an experience where You're not, you're not in a setting, you're not in a place, you're not in a inner state to where you can just allow the experience to happen. To where you can allow the integration. Whenever you resist, oftentimes you will find yourself in a place where things persist and they get worse. Because they want to show you something. That this this thing that's happening to you, quote unquote, is happening for you. So that you can realize and recognize the shit that's going on inside. So yeah, I'm going to share this and then I'm going to go uh, back to ZigZag's uh, part 2 on his video, but before I do that, I just want to give another shout out to the Mayan Jin because uh, constantly being reminded, you know, uh, of the stuff that you've said and uh, yeah, just, just integration, man. Shout. Especially when it comes with the pressures. Of the of the humors of the of the organs of the body, doing as much fasting that I do, doing as much intake of certain chemicals and plant spirit medicines that I do, constantly being reminded of the pressures. What do I truly need? What can I do with just engagement of the things inside of me? And this goes with all of us. Once we, uh, it's kind of like we are, we are the conductor or orchestrator. Uh, and then all the organs inside of us are, are likened to uh, certain, um, or what is the word, or orchestral uh symphonics and we bring all those things into harmony and with with the engagement of the breath we, we realize we, we begin to pressurize and truly touch upon how these organs sing and vibrate our being into manifestation into an integration harmony with everything around us. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Yeah, so yeah, 10 minute intro here. And we'll get into it now. Oh, and this is Brian Callen. I don't know if you know who that guy is. Uh, 
I'm not gonna go too 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 far down uh one side or another here, but uh I've I've witnessed Brian Kellen on the Joe Rogan podcast enough times that uh I have a unique distaste and disdain for, for people like that. Yeah, you can be humorous and funny and blah 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 and we can mask things with humor as well. We can mask ignorance with humor and make it seem like we are actually a little bit more intelligent than well maybe we are. And this is uh exactly what Joe Rogan is. He's a smooth talker and a person that has not integrated enough so he's uh, put garbage and bullshits upon the experiences because this Joe Rogan has had experiences like a motherfucker but he's put the bullshit on top of it it's like the Russian dolls whenever you succumb to being traumatized and numbed you just it's a layer upon layer upon layer and that's more shit that you have to work through and so you get back to your inner self the core isness the core essence the the original little little doll sitting there the innocence and that does get harder and harder uh, with the more ignorance and, and the more ignoring that one does within their lifetime. All the best doctors right there. How are you doing that? With uh, pill form needles. So we, we poke into where the hamstring is and that breaks up the adhesions and turns them off. So we all open the real needle? Yeah. yeah. And you, what do you do? What is your science behind that? It turns the muscle off from the inside out. So if it's like a porcupine or whatever, the more you struggle, the more barrows the needle deep in you. So when you step up something sharp or hot, you have a reflex to pull you away from it. Subcortical. You don't get a chance to think about it. So it turns the muscle off from the inside out because it feels a threat. So muscles that are chronically... You don't get a chance to think about it unless you are in a certain awareness and... Uh a dissolvement of t- of quote unquote time, and then all time dissolves into the now, and you not only get a chance to think about it, you get a chance to experience it, and this is the essence of plant spirit medicines, of reminding you of what is inside of you, what you have access to in every moment. Tighten neurologically or scar tissue from a tear. Yeah. It turns it off and relaxes it. Then you can actually start stretching. Uh, I got you. And that's kind of why when you put pressure on a muscle, it'll release. We think that's sort of the means, too. And that's why we think things that actually hurt more work better. Yeah. Um, so I feel. And he's going to get into uh, a little bit deeper shit here. Uh, and he'll even go into like uh, the psychoactives and the uh, plant spirit medicines, the entheogens. And this is absolutely what is happening. That's why I wanted to share this because this is uh, just another uh, connector here. Like a lot, of, a lot of the feelings that a lot of us are having and sharing and uh, <laughs> remembering, remembering. But uh, right quick, I wanted to say that. Uh, the pain, like I said in, in uh, maybe two videos back on mine, pain is a very sacred thing. It's a very, it's a direct communion with you and the all that is, the Logos, the God. But uh, we, for, for a very specific reason, we are taught to go to someone else outside of us for our uh, this eases for our uh, problematic symptoms of why we are experiencing pain. We are taught and indoctrinated to not listen to the pain, but to seek guidance without. 
but this guidance is a mask and a uh, facade. It's it's not it's not true healing. It's a numbing. So we are taught and indoctrinated to go into the numbing and build layer upon layer. And once we finally realize what 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 we've been fucking doing to ourselves, we got a lot of fucking work to do, and a lot of you fucking know what the fuck I'm talking about here. But if you're even able to uh, understand any of this, then then you know what's up, and you have taken the steps to do your inner work and dissolve those layers. And that's why you're listening to this. That's why you're vibing and reverberating this frequency. So, uh, another another person uh, <laughs> that I really enjoy to watch <laughs> for, for many reasons. One of the reasons is the comments on YouTube. Are, are fucking golden <laughs> for this guy. His name is Lao Dong. Uh, the kind of massage that he does is he goes into the vein. He causes people to squirm and scream, and you know he reminds them, "Do you want a little bit of pain now, or do you want a lot of bit of pain later, to where you're potentially disabled from it because you've been ignoring it." This is the essence here. Engage the pain. Go into it. And then it... Your body... Your body... Your body's intelligence... Is designed to react in a certain way. So... Whenever you engage pain with the body... It transforms it and it transmutes it. Once you really start to experience this for yourself... And it's like, there's no need to be in uh, any kind of disease or pain anymore because you can dive into the pain. You can listen to what it's telling you, what you need to do. It's communion. It's a communion. And this is what's happening on several different levels uh, collectively uh, in, in pockets throughout the world. In certain communities, this communion that's happening, it's like into a uh, uh, white blood cells within the collective body of humanity uh, coming together, uh, speaking and, and inspiring and getting down to the nitty gritty <laughs> and uh, of what really needs to be done. What needs to be felt and engaged for more people to wake up to this shit that's already inside them. Like a, like a foam roller, for example, right? Foam roller versus a PVC pipe. On a physics level, there's not that much difference. Raw mass is still the same, the surface area is still the same. So why would the PVC work so much better? Even it's a little harder, but there's not a big force differential. The only reason that it could be is that because it hurts a little bit more, A, it creates that response to protect you, to turn the muscle off to protect you, and B, it may rewire your brain's perception of the original pain because you expose it to a new type of accent. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, dude. Like The rewiring that's happening. This is exactly what is happening whenever you take psychedelics. You are re rewiring your brain. You are pulling yourself, your awareness uh, of what you really truly are, out of these patternings and loop programs that you've been caught into of, in the cycles of trauma and corruption and degradation. You're coming out of that. And into a new perspective. And the main thing is that if you can 
retain some of this awareness and integrate it. The more integration that happens within these so-called heightened states, which you don't need anything to have them, all you really need is to uh, feel into your fucking heart and you can have the most blissed out, heightened, ecstatic awareness state that you can ever have uh, with any kind of uh, entheogen and plant spirit medicine. You can do this yourself. Still your mind, still your body, engage the heart. You will touch upon things that are just so beyond words. It's all about integration and a remembrance of these blissful and ecstatic states, but a grounding of this, building a bridge within all of your chakras so that all of the flow happens with all of the energetics in your body. This is the essence of plant spirit medicine to remind you of the work you need to do and what you have access to so a lot of times it blasts you through to show you what you have access to and it's it's crazy beautiful amazing shit sometimes very uh har harrowing and, and very dark but that's because it's reflecting what's inside of you that you need to deal with So once you've actually accessed these things inside of you, you can take yourself there. This is the main message. I'm showing you what is there, but you have to be able to take yourself there if you want to integrate this. Really truly understand what's happening within and without. Just, which is sort of what mushrooms and LSD and other theories that make a lot of sense. Right. And that's why even marijuana, like it is a distractor, it kind of breaks up that, uh, that pathway that your brain is focused on. Exactly. And anything you do a lot, you get better. So I do that actually. Yeah. yeah. They kind of tend to calm the body down. Mm -hmm. This is the thing with the marijuana. You know, we are told it's a gateway, gateway drug. Uh, and, but we're told that in a negative aspect. But uh, really, um, it is very much a gateway, as in it's a gateway into... And you, you, you will find this out yourself if, if you start to get into uh, marijuana and the Mother Mary energies. And you have yet to dive deep into other entheogens. You'll find out. For yourself. She uh, she opens you up uh, to such a degree that she bears opens all, all all the wounds, all the traumas for you to heal. But but the healing aspect is. Uh, oftentimes convoluted and complicated because of our mentalities that we've been indoctrinated into, uh, our, our systems and, and societal influences, our direct surroundings that we find ourselves within. It is oftentimes not a very easy thing to release into the healing. So, if the marijuana cannot take you there, then it will open you up to things that you will draw in upon yourself, as in other deep plant spirit medicines, uh, such as the psilocybin, which is definitely something I, I highly recommend. If you are into healing, if you are into just, you know, having a good time or whatever, or partying, then that's not what I recommend. 
But if you're into experimenting with your own physiological uh, makeup, then yes, I recommend pretty much all things. But the marijuana allows you to access uh, a certain state inside of your mind. It very much acts upon the dopamine and um, the pleasure centers and it very much helps to transform pain into pleasure as well. And it's very much also uh, has to do with your own mentality so you can take it to several different places. You can take it to a very dark place. You can take it to a very heightened place, which has been mainly my experience with it, is just using it as a tool for meditation and accessing certain points more flu fluidly and uh, expediently, which, which isn't necessarily something that you should do, because if you use something as, as a uh, shortcut, then and you don't integrate, it's going to become a crutch and potentially an addiction. So you want to learn what the message is, what you are being shown, what you are being, uh, yeah, just, just shown through the feelings. And oftentimes, because people are so just caught up in their fucking mind, they, they go along with the fucking bullshit that they're going on in their mind in their day-to-day -day bullshit of indoctrination and entrainment through their in entertainment they're not listening of what's really going on inside of them what's being reminded of what's always inside of them right which everything has its place right so um, you know, if you look at the research behind all those chemicals, anything you do often you get better at subconsciously, whether it's driving or doing your job or whatever else. Well, if you're focused on pain all the fucking time, you're... I'm just going to stop that there because this is accurate, but then with, with the uh, corruption that's within the indoctrination and within the mind, it's, it's like into a mind virus, uh, you get better at it until, until a point and then it's it's like a spiral, and the spiral has been corrupted. And instead of uh, continuously gaining experience, gaining gnosis and awareness, and moving towards something that uh, benefits uh, and incorporates all aspects of beingness, oftentimes what happens is uh, a ceiling that happens. The Ouroboros happens um, in the negative aspect and then it just collapses in upon itself. So this is what's happening with most people is that they reach a point and then they revert back to their comfort zone to their uh, known modes and modalities. Because uh, it is a place where you have to face the pain, you have to face the darkness, you have to face the places inside of you, inside of your mind that are haunting you. You have to shed light, the, your own light of your awareness upon these things. And that's not always an easy thing to do. Oftentimes it's the most difficult thing you will ever do in life. Ronnie, well, it's really good at doing that as well. Right. So if you can distract and rewire and, and make it pay attention to something else for a little while, sometimes you don't rewire that pathway again. Right? Exactly. Which is, you know, the amazing studies they've had on LSD and MDMA and these, you know, PTSD patients and because yeah. their brain's so fixated on that event, they can't get around that. So suddenly you change the way they perceive that event and now it's not that bad. Right. Dude, this trap shit is amazing. <laughs> no, but that's that's exactly it. Like, 
the rewiring of the brain, the rewiring of the neurons, the rewiring of the pathways within, and then we are able to witness this rewiring without. The, the manifestation of the new connectivity that we have integrated within, we are able to experience this without. And uh, it's, it's very magical, we can call it mystical, but really it's just reflectional, <laughs> I don't think that's a word, but it is now, of, of the inner state, of the inner work that has been done. And then connecting with those that are doing this as well. It's just going to build and build and connect and connect. And there ain't no stopping this shit. We're at a point now where this is not... Hmm. It's too late for the powers that were to instigate a, uh, a trigger effect. Because, as they have already found out, every single time now that they try to put something and, and call the awareness back into their control, it backfires. And so they don't know what the fuck to do, because every time they try to do something, it backfires. This is a, a beautiful representation of as within, so without, for a lot of people. So finally, the the manipulations and the forces that have been uh, fucking with the reflections, because the clarity has been fucked with. Because otherwise, we, we would be able to connect like as within, so without. Pretty simplistically. It's, it's pretty fucking obvious once you wake up to the shit that's going on. But the fuckery has uh, the smoke and mirrors has been taking awareness away and gathering it for a certain agenda. It's very much like the Dark Crystal and the Skeksis. This crystal it has been reunited now and it's being shared amongst everyone who is willing to feel in their heart. And you may come across people who uh, you thought, and this has happened with me, this is happening with me all the fucking time lately, I would have never thought they would integrate certain things and feel certain things and emote certain things back to me, but yet they have done that. And it's very mesmerizing and amazing to me. That it's, it's a reminder to me of the... Macro. Within my micro experience. Okay, so now we're going to go to the zigs. Let's see if I can find the place point. So just one moment. Just one moment. We'll be back. So I was... Concept of... Use things. Somewhere around here. From a dream that you don't write, they fade away the same exact way. So that's why I said everything that you've put so much energy outside of yourself should have been redirected to you. The only thing that really matters. Why do you think they say put on your oxygen mask first before you try to save others? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the essence of these experiences that we're talking about. The deep 
shamanic healings of uh and essentially this this is the essence of these things turning the mirror back around and upon yourself seeing the things that you need to deal with inside of yourself and this is not something that most people are able to do for themselves and so this is why they seek things outside of them to help them do this but then you know because of the uh, construct and, and the mind state people just are constantly going without to find the things within they get caught up within that that thing the drug or, or whatever to help them see what's truly inside them but whether that's the point what is truly inside of you is everything you are all drugs you are all access points you just have to remember what you are what you have access to in this world that we are in um, it's it's all about distraction and getting getting caught up in the entertainments so that you are not able to still your mind and still your focus into a focal point and become the monad become the central point in the storm become the eye of the hurricane and realize within that stillness within that void is the all in the no thing you are the, you are everything work on self before you try to help others listen change your mind change your life I'll tell you right now don't look for things outside of you when you are right and you are in harmony and free and in frequency these things will start to look for you people places and things the same way when it comes to yeah and like he said uh during this is like the guru the guru or, or the or the whatever the shaman uh but really it's like you attune with it and, and i know i know he knows this <laughs> I know he knows this, but the clarification here is important. It's an attunement. It's really an uh, alignment and a realization that you are, you are already it. You are already the guru, the shaman, the priest and priestess, the hue man and woe man of all the colors combined within the harmony and so in this realization if you choose to engage with things that are going to heighten your perceptions and your feelings then if you have that foundation first then these are going to be very very healing and integrative experiences and this is the essence of utilizing shamanics, utilizing entheogens and plant spirit medicines to remind you of what is within you and coming from a place that you know or you, at the very least you have an inclination that these things are reminding you of something. And even if you don't, as with most uh, youths nowadays, they don't know what the fuck's going on. They're just caught up in the fucking bullshit. So whenever they are in, uh, introduced to these things, they have uh, a choice to make. Do they go? Do they go along with what their peers and friends are, are doing and uh, projecting what's going on? And not truly understanding what's being shown to them. Or do they go within. And start to feel. And potentially be outcasted by these people. That they thought were, were their friends or family. Because they are so caught up in the construct of projecting. And not realizing what is inside. 
that's also a part of the process. Once you start to wake up to what is inside of you, a lot of times the people around you are not going to vibe with that. You are going to have to find, not even find, but just attract new people to you. And this is what happens is that you you will happen upon people that vibe with you. So don't fret or worry about losing certain people in your life because that loss is a gain. It's a gain of awareness and things that will be shown to you and come about in your outer, so-called outer world is going to be so much more fulfilling. And you're going to reach a point where you can even go back to those people in your past if, if you so choose and truly be able to help them realize what's inside of themselves for them to strengthen themselves and get their shit straight and in accordance and in harmony. So even physical abundance that you want to call money and stuff like that over here, you'll start to attract people, places, and things to put you in that in that state because you're by the harmony. You are open. You are an open channel to that. So the energy now looks for you, and, it, uh -huh. and, and now it, it's all attracted to you. And, but of course, you have to do the work. But the work is you putting yourself and aligning yourself to that vibration. Ah, uh, my man. And, and here's the last advice I'll give you on this. When you want to do this, let's say align yourself with something you want to do, put yourself in that state already there. Now, here's the thing though. A lot of people... And that has to come... That, that, that has to do with the mind. And this is the, uh, this is the focus thing. And the realization thing uh, that is all within you. So whenever you realize that, you can t attune your focus on certain frequencies and bandwidths and access points. So that you don't necessarily need to seek things outside of you to allow you to experience insights or, or glimpses. Or exp have certain uh, highs or lows or whatever. I also just want to say right quick, <laughs> I feel like a lot of us uh, are just forming our own shamanic circle and with or without anything or whatever the future may hold, this this circle and this foundation that's happening, it's, it's fucking powerful, guys. Oftentimes, uh, it brings me up out of states of getting caught up in, in the fucking rat race and the bullshit. Being reminded of, of, of you guys and the connection that I have with you. It's like, yes, that's all the inspiration I, I ever fucking need. Because this connection uh, reminds me of the purpose and uh, that kind of strength that 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 is the ultimate strength because you, you don't you don't give a fuck about whatever the fuck else you access certain you have the potentiality of accessing certain things within you given uh whatever whatever's happening within the moment to where you can lift yourself uh, lift yourself up out of whatever state that you're in or uh, thing that you're facing. And oftentimes I'm facing uh, hmm. yeah, it goes beyond words. Very deep shite. And being reminded of the connection 
and the things that you guys are integrating. It's uh, it's keeping me motivated to keep going as well, as well as my own my own spirit. So it's just another reminder of why I'm doing what I'm doing, of why I'm going through what I'm going through, integrating what I'm integrating, no matter how hard it may be at the time. Being reminded. Having my having my true essence and my inner self being reflected back to me through you guys has uh, been one of the most powerful things I've ever experienced in my life and I'm uh, eternally grateful for all of you People who want to go into an ayahuasca trip, they'll say, I want to know, you know, I want to lift the veil. I want to see everything for what it is. But how many people are in the mind state to embed the planet, which really is you? They only want to do it for self-servient reasons. To better their life, to get more money, to do what they have to do better in their life. But are they doing anything to empower anybody else outside of them? I hear what you're saying, and basically he, he's getting at, you know, uh, what he was talking about is people that are doing it just, just to, uh, they're so caught up on the surface bullshit that, that, and the social media bullshit that it's like, oh, hey, I did this, oh my gosh, I did this, but it's like, you didn't learn from it, so, so fuck you for saying that you did something, like, that's supposed to be, uh, a shamanic and transformative experience and then not sharing the transformation. So fuck that. The point of the experience is to integrate and transform your inner state, transmute the shit that you need to. That's what it's all about, people. Transformation, transmutation, burning away and allowing the fade to happen with, with the shite that you don't you no longer need. Allowing that to become your fodder and your kindle to burn this awareness into your beingness to remind you of the power that's inside of you inside of all of us to remember the flame of your desire to not let not let that burn too bright to burn yourself out but to temper the flame to re-enter your membrane to become sane inside your brain inside all of the lanes and avenues pathways to find the harmony again to remember the rhythm and the rhyme of the divine within you, within all of us. It's not all that difficult to find. If you just allow it and you just feel it, then the things will come to you that you need in order for you to feel. That is what feeds your soul. It's 
these things that we take for granted or that we think are surface things, once we're able to switch our perspective and our vantage point, we are able to see the true little aspects and the little subtle meanings of why things are being presented to us. And we can integrate and vibrate at a higher state, at a more harmonic state. Harmony is within balance to with the essences and energies without. And we realize that we are the universe. The stars and the moons and suns, they are reflecting what's inside of us. This is divine creation. This is what we were made to demonstrate. We were designed to harmonize all essences and balance them. So this balancing act is what is becoming more and more on the forefront of what is needed to find harmony, to complete the circle, to be the eye to see within in order to truly see without feel it know it be it I love you guys peace